क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is how we can prepare amines from amide and on this topic we are going to talk about that is how we can prepare amines from aldehyde as well as by ketones so now let's get started So friends in this topic we are going to talk about that is how we can convert an aldehyde into an amine or how we can convert ketone into amine so that is the reason that we are going to talk about a reaction where basically the aldehyde as well as ketone they would be reacted with hydroxyl amine and from that way we could easily prepare amines so for that let me talk about the first thing that is how we can convert aldehyde into amine so for that we have a general formula for aldehyde that is nothing but r c double bond o h and suppose if this aldehyde is treated with NH2OH, which is basically known as hydroxyl amine, and that also basically whenever this hydroxyl amine it will be reacted with aldehyde, and this O of carbonyl, that is this oxygen atom of carbonyl, it will react with this H2, and they will be removed in the form of water, that is H2. So therefore, the product that is what we have is right now is R C H. This will be double bond, while here it will be NOH. So this is the product that we have got over here, and this is an oxam. But this oxam is obtained because of an aldehyde, so that's the reason. The name of this is known as aldoxam. But the reaction doesn't stop over here because this is not the product that we need. Obviously, we are reducing this aldoxam with the help of that is H two in presence of nine nickel, or with the help of lithium aluminium hydride, or with the help of that is sodium. that is basically dissolved in ethanol or whenever the sodium is reacting with ethanol obviously it will produce hydrogen atoms or nesken hydrogen atom and because of that this c double bond n it will get reduced to form r c h2 and now here this one will be converted into nh2 plus the by product would be water so this is what we can convert an aldehyde into an amine and this is nothing but primary amine so this was related to the reaction of an aldehyde with hydroxyl amine and now let me talk about the general reaction of ketone with hydroxyl amine so that we could form amine so talking about the reaction of ketone with hydroxyl amine that is suppose if we are considering a general reaction where r c r this is double bond o so this is nothing but a ketone and suppose this ketone is reacting with nh2oh that is hydroxyl amine So therefore, the product that we could get is nothing but this H two and this O. They will be removed in the form of water, and the main product that we have is an oxam. And this oxam is nothing but it is been obtained from a ketone. So that's the reason the name of this is ketoxam. And again, the same thing that we have did in our previous reaction. That is, we are reacting this oxam with H two in presence of an anion nickel, or we could say that is lithium aluminium hydride, or with the help of that is sodium whenever it has been reacted with ethanol, obviously it will produce hydrogen, and that is what this C double bond and it will get reduced into the following compound that is what I am writing over here is nothing but R C R, while this is nothing but double bond N. So while here one of them is basically nothing but hydrogen atom over here, while the rest of the thing is And H two, and H two will be removed as a byproduct. So this is the product that we have got over here, or we could also write it as R C R H. Here it is, and H two. So in the previous reaction also we have got a primary amine, and now in this reaction also we have got primary amine. So this is what we can convert aldehyde and ketone to their respective amines, and this is what we have obtained. So this was nothing but the general reaction, but now let me explain an example related to these two reactions. So friends, suppose if we are considering acetaldehyde, that is nothing but CH three C H double bond O, and suppose if we are reacting it with hydroxyl amine, that is NH two OH. So obviously the product that we could get is nothing but CH three CH double bond NOH. So this is nothing but an oxam, or basically we could call it as aldoxam. But this is acetaldehyde. That is what we have took, and 
with that we have reacted with NH2OH so that's the reason the name of this product it could be called as acetal long cell so this is what we have but again we don't need this protein we need an amine so that's the reason that we are reacting it with hydrogen or you could say like lithium aluminum hydride or basically we are basically reducing this C double bond N so as to get an amine and the product that we could get is nothing but CH3 C H this would be NH2 and here also there will be an H along with that of water that would be removed as a byproduct so this is the product that we have got the main product that is what we have got is an amine and this is ethyl group that is being attached to the amine so that's the reason the name of this is known as ethanamine as an IUPC name so that's it so now this was the reaction of an aldehyde with hydroxylamine and now let me talk about the another example suppose friends if you are considering keto that is CH3 C double bond O CH3 and suppose if we are reacting it with NH2OH so the product that we could get is nothing but CH3 C here there will be CH3 this will be double bond N OH basically a ketoxan but this ketoxan is obtained with the help of a reaction of acetone with hydroxylamine so that's the reason the name of this one could be given as acetoxane and now this acetoxane it will be reacted with hydrogen in presence of nickel or in presence of red nickel and the byproduct that we could obtain over here is this is ch3 this will be c h3 over here here will be h and here will be nh2 along with that of the byproduct that would be removed in the form of h2 if you talk about this is the product that we have got again this is a primary amine but if you talk about the IUPC nomenclature of this one so therefore this one could be selected as the longest chain that is one two three and this amine group is attached to the second carbon atom and the product that we have obtained over here is known as propane to amine and that's it so this was the reaction related to the reaction of aldehydes with hydroxylamine so as to obtain an amine and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much